Now for my particular style of shooting, I'm not somebody that reaches over to telephoto lenses. However, I have been using the 75 to 180 millimeter lens by Laowa for the last couple of months. And honestly, I've changed my mind. What's going on guys, it's Kofi Bo, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about the brand new 75 to 180 millimeter lens by Laowa. Now this rounds out their Ranger set in terms of their cinema zooms, and this has actually changed my mind about telephoto lenses. Now, telephoto lenses made for full-frame cameras are typically pretty big pieces of glass. However, this is actually a little bit smaller than I expected. Now, this lens is only about three pounds, and it's not the longest lens in the entire world, which means that you could have it on things like a shoulder rig, and if you have the right one, you could probably use it for gimbal operation as well. Just if you are gonna use it with a gimbal, you might wanna use the lens support as your mounting point instead of mounting on the camera body itself. Now, if I wanna compare this in terms of size, it's not exactly scientific, but this is a 7200 G Master Lens version two, which is a little bit smaller than the first version. And when you put them together, well, they're not that far different in terms of size from each other. Now, in terms of the physical features of this lens, just keep in mind that it's not an autofocusing lens. Most cinema glasses aren't, so you are gonna have a manual focusing ring. And of course, it's gonna have a nice long throw in order for you to make sure you dial in your focus and you don't throw yourself off. Especially in the telephoto ranges, it's a little bit easier to see those misses in focus because it's so far away from your camera. When you're using telephoto focal lengths, it's a little bit easier to see when you're missing focus. So you wanna make sure that you have a nice long throw in order for you to dial that in just a little bit better. You're also going to get a minimum focusing distance at 0.89 meters, which is gonna be pretty close for a telephoto lens. Now, generally speaking, even shooting at 75 millimeters, getting about three feet away is generally where I like to stay because it's such a tight lens. So it's actually perfect in terms of getting the closest shots you can at 75 millimeters on the wide end, but you still have that minimum focusing distance all the way up to 180 millimeters. Oh, also another really cool feature with this lens is as you're zooming out from 75 to 180 millimeters, it's an internal zoom. So you don't have to worry about the lens protruding and you have to worry about rebalancing your gimbal every time you want to change your focal length. Now, you're probably into this lens review because you want to see how the optics actually look. And I've been able to use this in a couple of different situations. Anything from tracking athletes out of the back of a car, on a track, or even using it for some gym shoots, which typically I wouldn't do. And like I mentioned before, I normally don't get telephoto focal lengths when I'm shooting stuff that's in the gym or when I'm shooting fitness or athleisure or even for any of the client work that I have. However, this is a little bit of a game changer because one, because at 75 to 180 millimeter focal length, I'm going to get a punched up background even at 2.9. Typically when you're using longer focal lengths, what's going to end up happening is it's going to separate more things from the background, even when I'm using lower apertures. So if I want to get a really nice shot with really good bokeh in it, it's actually going to be beneficial to use a longer focal length like 75 to 180 millimeters. On top of that, Laowa makes a pretty good lens. Now I have tested this out not only at NAB, I also have this lens and I've been having this lens for the last couple of months, but it's sharp as just as any other lens. However, it doesn't give you that crunchy digital look and it still has a nice roll off as well. It also treats flaring pretty decently when put in front of a light source and that's actually really pleasing as well. Now, one big thing with using a cinema zoom lens, and one thing you might not find in other telephoto zoom lenses or other zoom lenses in general is the fact that it's something called parfocal. Now, obviously you're gonna be able to go from 75 to 180 millimeters. And as you do that on some other lenses, especially some cheaper lenses, you're gonna end up missing your focus. You won't be able to do things like racking your zoom in and out and still keep that subject in focus. So this is a non-scientific par focal test of the 75 to 180 millimeter. Now I'm zooming out and in from my 75 out to 180 and the results are exactly how you expected. Now with par focal lenses, essentially what's going to happen is as you do those zooms, your focus point remains unchanged. And if you're looking at this test footage, it actually stays sharp throughout the entire zoom range, which you don't actually get in some of the cheaper telephoto lenses. Now I already did mention that I do have the 7200 G Master Mark II lens by Sony. And between photography lenses and cinema lenses, when I need to get the the job done, I want to get things like autofocus and the focus breathing compensation and the in-body stabilization, this is the lens that I'm typically going to go to. However, with cinema lenses, typically you're going to be working on commercial gigs or you're going to be working on short films or short documentary stuff where you want a little bit of character and a little bit of soul to actually come out of the images that you're making. And that's where we're actually going to look and turn to the Ranger lens. However, you probably don't want to hear me talk about it. You probably just want to see a shootout between these two lenses. 
So we're gonna work with what we have because a lot of my test footage got deleted, unfortunately. However, when we compare the Lauer Ranger to the Sony G Master lens, they actually look pretty similar to each other. Both are gonna be really sharp and that's kind of what was told to me about the Lauer Ranger line to begin with. It's a super sharp modern lens, but it also isn't crunchy and has a pretty nice highlight roll off. Now, one of the things I did notice right away with this lens that actually represents skin tones really, really well. Uh, generally, my litmus test for having good skin tones is whether or not it works on darker skin tones because that's the majority of my work. However, the Laowa 75 to 180 does look pretty good in terms of representing skin tones. And generally speaking, a lot of my stuff is character based, so that actually is really helpful. Now, in terms of use cases, I'm not somebody that picks telephoto lenses most of the time. Oftentimes, I stick to my 20 millimeter lens, my 35 millimeter lens, and sometimes my 50. And even for me, that feels very telephoto or very much like a tighter lens. However, when I'm using telephoto focal lengths or some of the work that I do, it does offer a unique look. And what I do like about the Ranger line, especially if you're shooting sports like things that are on tracks or things that are on courts, I don't have to be really close to the action order for me to get the shot. Sometimes I overlook that some people do need that extra reach when you are shooting some of the things that you need to shoot. And when I was shooting some B-roll for a documentary that I'm working on, shooting at 50 millimeters to catch a cyclist on the track just isn't far enough in terms of reach to get the things that I need to get. And this is where the 75 to 180 was a godsend because I got to borrow it for this shoot and it came in clutch in order for me to get the shots that I need to get. Now I did mention this before, I don't really reach over to telephoto focal lengths in terms of getting the shots that I need to when I'm shooting my style of work. But I did realize that as I start to transition a little bit away from fitness and a little bit more into sports, a telephoto focal length actually makes a lot of sense to keep in your bag. And if you're somebody like me, maybe you're not always reaching for a telephoto lens. Maybe you're only shooting at 24, 35, or 50 millimeters, but having something that's a little bit longer on the focal length side of things is better to have and not need than not have at all. Especially in situations like myself where oftentimes nowadays I feel kind of screwed if I don't have the coverage. Now in terms of a full frame cinema zoom lens, this actually checks off a lot of boxes. However, with great features and a great look, it's also gonna come with a price that's not super cheap. Now if you are gonna be picking up the Laowa 75 to 180 millimeter lens, you're gonna be paying about $29.99 US dollars, which is a really hefty price tag. However, you are gonna get what you pay for. Now when you keep that into context for a full frame par focal cinema zoom lens, that's actually pretty competitive with the Kata Zooms by DZO Film. Now you're gonna get similar features in terms of the build quality, the metal housing, the zoom range, and you're gonna get a specific character out of either lens. However, you're gonna get a little bit more reach out of the Lawa lenses, and you're gonna save about 300 bucks if you get the PL or the EF version. That being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, or at the very least, you guys learned something. If you wanna see more videos on this channel, I've been shooting with the Sony Venice for a while, and you can check that guy out right over here. Special shout out to Lawa, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.